Incredibly, the duo safely landed their plane in the Rogue River near Merlin and were then rescued by a team doing training in the area. NBC 5's Anthony Carter was there and he has your top story tonight at 6. Anthony. Shelly, multiple agencies, including the Borough of Land Management, responded to the crash this morning at Ennis Riffle. The Sheriff's Office tells me that it's grateful for the quick action from the people training nearby. I would say uh, extremely fortunate ending to this incident. A small plane crash in the Rogue River ending safely in Josephine County Tuesday morning. Sheriff Dave Daniels says the 911 call came in around 930. The cause of the crash was uh, engine failure and they're just out here in this uh, rural environment. There's nowhere else to really put it down safely. So uh, he chose what option he thought he had best. People in the area jumped into action, including a crew training to do water rescues that happened to be nearby. It was perfect place, perfect time. Sammy Hawkins um, is the instructor for Sierra Rescue. The group she's training is part of ORS, which is the Oregon Adventure River Specialist. I honestly thought it was a jet boat at first and I didn't really pay attention. And then um, another a park truck came in and I heard them yell help. Hawkins says Oars typically practices in the water scenic section of the Rogue River from Grace Creek on down. So to be in the area of Ennis Riffle on this day was rare. She says her trainees did a great job during an unexpected live situation. One of them made the comment, Sammy, you make the most realistic props. <laughs> so it just did, it was a highlight definitely to do a real life rescue during rescue training. The two people in the plane were amazingly uninjured. The sheriff's office says the single engine plane is a 2002 Vans RVA. The FAA and the NTSB has been contacted to lead the investigation. Live in the studio, Anthony Carter, NBC5 News.